Right, so we're going to quickly chat about the full pass departments or how to set up departments and where they're used and what they're used for. Um, so in the software, we have uh, what we call a pricing group and a stock group. And for some customers, it's uh, quite a nightmare, uh, but it's actually quite simple. So over here, we can see we've got pricing groups. Okay. The idea with the pricing group is, is to identify which department or pricing group then your item must fit into. And if we go and skip the gun a little bit and we jump to the end of it and say, well, where, what, will, what difference would it make? Uh, it makes a difference in terms, first of all, in terms of how to calculate the selling price. And that's why we call it a pricing group and not a department. Okay. So the, the pricing group will determine what the percentages or is that is used in the system and will then uh, determine the, the exit price as we call it the price that you will be selling the product at firstly and secondly also a lot of our reports uh, you are able to go and see whether uh, in what department this item is so again if you look at argument sake a supermarket a supermarket uh, effectively consists of a number of businesses in one um, we have a fruit and veg section we have grocery section we have a cleaning equipment or cleaning material department. We have a kiosk area, which might be called kiosk as a department for that matter. And that would be typically high risk items uh, or high profit items. Okay. Uh, in other words, products that if you do lose stock on there, you're losing a lot of money in, in a quick go. Um, and we will have dairy, we'll have meat, we have uh, a butchery section, we will have a bakery section we will have a chocolate section we will have newspapers and magazines so those will be your pricing groups or pricing departments all right and then in brief just the stock group the stock group is how do i want to count my stock um stock group is almost like a a, a um uh, uh, what do they call it they call it a a bin um okay so stock groups are normally referred to also as bin so if I had a, a bin would be a typical name that uh, the uh, customers that sells motor car spares would understand that, that will be the place where this spares are kept in that bin uh, again but the same applies to arguments like a, a restaurant a restaurant will have a fridge they will have a storeroom at the back they will have um, the, the cold room they might have a deep freeze those could all be different places. In other words, if I want to do my stock, where will I find this product? Is it lying all over the place? So if I want to go and do arguments like my sherry's and ports like I've selected now, or I want to go and look at my local beers, for instance, okay, where will I find it? Uh, is it in the local beer section? Or uh, is it in the cold room? So those are the stock groups. So let's go through the detail of that. Oh, sorry. And the last thing, of course, we've got a report group. Report group, you might go and say, okay, fine, hang on. I want to group my things a little bit better. I want to think of a pyramid and so on. My departments will be on the lower level. I want a higher level like that. So in a restaurant, I want to see what my food is as a report group. How much food do I do in total versus how many drinks? In other words, am I selling more drinks than I'm selling food? Um, or in a supermarket, I might want to do food products versus cold drinks or whatever the case may be, uh, or typical retail products versus wholesale type of products. Okay. Again, you can decide how you want to combine it. Um, so let's go and look at the, uh, pricing groups quickly. Um, so pricing group, uh, if I click on the little dots with, or three little square with three dots, all of these, uh, will give you the ability to actually go and maintain it. So you don't have to jump out, go to a different section of the software. So let's go and look at beer local now. In my beer local pricing group, I can see that I've called it that. Then we have some pricing rules in there, and I can say when a stock item is over 19 rand 99, round all amounts below 39 cents, and so on. Um, you know what, let's leave this for now. Uh, we're gonna. I'll do another video that does deals with pricing matrices specifically, and that will give you a better idea. So for now, just this is the department that I want to use for my pricing group. Okay, uh, so that's my pricing group, my stock group. Again, the same. You can call it the same, like I have in this example, or you can have a different name or for it altogether. You can say in 
uh, literally, as I said earlier, you can call it fridge. Doesn't matter. This is where the product is stored. Okay, and it might be fridge one, it might be fridge two, it might be shelf one, it might be row one, whatever you want to call it. You can have unlimited number of stock groups in the system. Um, and then the same with report group. Let's go and fix this quickly. Let's say in this case, I want to call it not test anymore. I want to call it food products or food items. Okay, and I might want to have another one called uh, drink items. Okay, um, and that's it. That's as simple as it gets. Now let's go and have a look and see. Okay, so this is burger. So that will go to my food items. It will go under the report heading of food items. So let's go and have a look and see where does the pricing group specifically come into play. So if I go and look at my some some of my sales figures, I'm going to load the reports. I'm going to say go to the load reports. I'm not sure if there are any sales on there. Let's go and have a quick look. Uh, and I've selected a dashboard just to get a total dashboard it does take a little bit of time It obviously collates quite a lot of information. Okay, so there's a little bit of sales There's 2,000 and so the sales gone through the system now if I want to go to and go and get a sales report at sales uh, always remember Analytical boards product performance report quite a nice report by default It does it's set up a normal listing So if, if I want to do it by group now I'll specify I want it by group and which group do you want it report group stock group supplier and uh, Report group sorry. I don't know if I mentioned all of them But in any case so you can specify that and if I then look at my report It then breaks it down quite easily for me and say local beers my shooters spirits imported and it makes it quite easy and nice so that you can go and see number one how how is the groups performing against each other which departments doing well etc etc you might even say that okay i only want group totals i don't want 20 pages of report i just want to see how the business is doing in total and then tells me that fine you've sold six beers uh you're doing a margin of 15 percent on that department uh, my shooters i've got a problem i sold 12 items but i made no profit okay they better go back and go and check those items so that's what the pricing group is mainly used for and you can filter in many many places you can filter on it on each and every one of these uh, departments or groups there all right to to get to the right answer the stock groups main purpose is to for stock taking so if I go to stock taking here and I go and do is do a stock take adjustment again um, if I go and select my local beers or my local beers for my default warehouse in this case i've set up multiple warehouses on this database so my default warehouse will be there or warehouse number three i'm now doing local beer stock adjustments specifically uh, for that beer local department okay in my default warehouse okay so there i can go and count it and i can go and say i've got five there and i've got seven over there i can go and print the difference we'll get into more detail uh, with regards to the stock and stuff later on all right, and then I can go exit all right, and um, Those are the main uses for it uh, as I said earlier Let's just jump back again if I go back to my analytical reports product performance again I could also go and say I wanted by group, but I want it on report group. Okay, so again your report group can be used uh, as a heading to our other products as you can see food items the heading and then all my burgers and other products will be down in there okay um, enjoy